Welcome again to Adventure Story Channel. I would like to invite you to my Zoom, where we will make a test meeting together. And that will be really, really interesting because we can communicate there much, much better. We can talk about and the topic will be how to avoid the blackout situation. So we can share uh, your experience also. I can share also mine. Uh, we will see some facts and some important tips how to avoid and make your vessel uh, free of any blackout during your uh, contract. So today our topic uh, this topic was requested from uh, our subscriber so uh, I will show you practical what to check inside the purifier and what I have seen it's uh, most important to give a uh, attention on that so we called this video purifier hate uh, checks and let's move on to see the slideshows that I have prepared this uh, today video will be about Mitsubishi purifier. I would like to inform you that purifiers from purifiers can be varied. The transmission of them probably will be by gear or some of them will be by um, another media like belt. But the principle of operation is the same, the centrifugal force which in this kind of purifiers is really, really tremendous because we have rotating speeds from 7,000 to 10,000 RPM. Uh, we will stand and we will stay more about the measurements uh, than exploring the parts of the purifier. I have worked both of them, both of three brands, I can say that I have seen important things that are really, really uh, important for the purifier operation. And also I will share you a story that I recently had uh, on board the vessel. So we will start with the checks and the measurements. And at the last moment of this video, I will uh, share this story with you. So let's move on. Uh, as we can see here, as we can see, when we dismantle the top of the bowl of the purifier, we have a, a lock, which is a Allen a lock bolt. So this bolt here is made in Mitsubishi purifiers, so this uh, tube will not play and will remain in position. Uh, you must not tight, really important that this uh, hexagon bolt must not tight until the end. So there is a groove, so this tube can be played up and down when you are tightening the nut. Here uh, it's missing one nut on the top. Okay, so this only to secure for the shaft to not twist on the sides, left and right. And what I do, what I used to do, uh, it's to have a measurement when the bolt, uh, when the nut is attached here and it's secure. Because the purifier before was working properly, we do not have any problem. Just to measure, to see how was tight uh, this nut. Okay, because this nut also have some specified nitometers and also have markings on the top, the zero mark. And for me, it's really, really important to measure the equipment before the dismantling. Uh, this measurement uh, do not refer in the book, was made only by me as a reference. And you can set also your references before you dismantle something you can measure some distances that you have seen okay for manufacturer probably this is not important but you can create your checkpoints 
nobody uh, will say something uh, that is not necessary or why you're doing that. Uh, this is a, a practical checking of your equipment and by this check by this check a really really important thing you can see when you dismantle the disc the uh, centrifugal pump which is located here on the top you will see if the pump and the casing of that uh, touch uh, between them and from there you can understand that if the tightening was proper here on the top as you can see a lot of things are important and we must to give a proper attention from the beginning so we do not hurry up we are going slowly and we try to observe this is the most important thing that when we dismantling something we are calm there we are concentrated of what we are doing and we do not let anybody to disturb us so we make a schedule we make a program how we will uh, make our job and slowly slowly we going step by step do not need to hurry up because you can forget you can lose some parts and probably you will not observe how the equipment was positioned before so next on you will lose time for looking inside the manual and for anything we do not like to lose time because this will uh, make the overhauling and the servicing much much longer so always have with you one pencil one uh, pad one hard pad where you will place the paper and you will write the measurements uh, always have uh, easy accessible information uh, always make them in plastic in hard plastic uh, photocopies with you to be everything ready so you will not need uh, to roll over the manual and looking and making dirty the manuals uh, and destroy them the arrangement of the tools uh, it's really really important when you were hauling such machineries as you know without uh, proper tools and without uh, special tools purifier cannot be dismantled and most of the equipment nowadays there is not only hammer and um, wrenches uh, or span spanners uh, there are special tools and these special tools must be kept in good order clean and far away for any damage so let's move on let's move on to more specific uh, measurements always refer to the manuals that is true you will always find something interesting there as we can see there is also a measurement of the disc stack uh, distance which must be approximately three to five millimeters in that kind of purifier so mitsubishi so if you see that it's longer or is if it's shorter uh, that means that something is wrong and you have forget some discs or some disc was mixed or placed wrong and how you can identify you can see they have a different shape here the discs and also they have different size the upper discs always in all purifiers have differences and this here this is the top disc which enclose and secure the discs on the distributor so uh, some manuals some of the manuals uh, need a special uh, adjustment from you to be understood properly and be easy to read that is true not all manuals are good as i have seen uh, korean uh, manuals now in nowadays are much much better than japanese japanese have lost this part and as much as possible the manuals must include only the important information so when we design a manual and okay if somebody from manufacturer listen 
them as stated exactly and describe what's going on. Probably this is done for some reasons that uh, the companies will uh, ask for service engineers. Probably this will be done for that reason. But anyway, that's how must be a manual uh, properly made it and to have uh, that kind of description that the engineer or somebody which is involved with the purifier will be able quickly to identify and find the problem. So always in the manual, it's really, really important that you will try to identify the details, the details which is necessary to keep your machinery uh, in good order, in proper uh, settings, also in the assembly point and also in the settings of the parameters that a machinery is working. So you will not go out of the range of the machinery operation, which is uh, really, really important. We do not like to work uh, our machinery out of the range because this equipment was not designed to work in such an area. Let's move on now to our next page. Also here we can see that we have a, a flat spring. Our flat spring is a, a equipment which can absorb an, an excessive uh, load. And this flat spring uh, in the purifier of Mitsubishi, it's uh, located on the vertical shaft. So when we are overhauling the vertical shaft and this, we see the flat spring, uh, it's necessary to identify if it's bended or it's broken, if there is any cracks on the flat spring. And also, we must measure the flat spring itself. If it's out of the range, it's uh, probably need to replace that one. And we will see later on the measurements of the flat spring, uh, which all of that small details really, really plays a big role. So here we can see also the bearings, how the bearings on the vertical shaft must be placed with the bearing number down. This is also some of the details and all these uh, items play role in the total arrangement of the distance and the height of the purifier. So that's why the manufacturer have these points of measurements for the flat spring here, the spacers, which is a additional uh, equipment, so you can adjust the A dimension. And it says that from model SG, uh, 10G or to 150G, it's from 0 0.5 to 1 millimeter. So, as you can see, we have our bearing here, which must be placed with the number down. It really, really plays role, that one. If you place it opposite, probably you will get damaged as much as quickly in two or three days. And before you measure this A distance, you will need to remove this O-ring. Uh, when you're overhauling, this kind of um, equipment here, which is really, really precise. You must be as much possible accurate in the tools that you are using, uh, the vernier caliper or the micrometers to be as much as possible in good condition. And we cannot make any um, job without these precise tools. We need them in good condition. So uh, try as much as possible, keep them 
uh, safe. So this is the distance. If you cannot adjust the distance, probably your flat spring will be damaged or bend it. Replace with the new one. And that is the good thing when you have a new one, you can compare, you can place it uh, in the position with the old spacer to see what is the distance. And also you must be careful that your uh, spacer is sitting good and your flat spring are touching the surfaces because uh, when you're measuring, probably the flat spring will be moving and you will have a wrong measurement. So take time. This is a really, really necessary uh, point for the purifier itself, uh, as this will help to prevent a lot of problems. And as you know, the purifier is really, really high speed equipment and really, really precise equipment. So any unbalance, any wrong measurement can lead to problems in the future can lead to problems uh, which is related with all the components of the purifier because we have tremendous power high rotating equipment just imagine it's about 10,000 rpm and here we have the shaft okay there is some points uh, from the manufacturer which must be checked so here only I have uh, set the A dimension which must be uh, also measured must be inside this kind of um, measurement 59 if it's little bit outside uh, must be replaced the shaft and as you know the shaft it's really really um, expensive component in my career, I have not seen uh, to be replaced this kind of shaft. Even for 10 or 15 years, these purifiers can be work uh, without any problem. Can work without any problem and uh, that everything matters from the service and how the service start from the beginning. Okay, let's go. And this is the measurement of the flat spring itself. So also, as you can see, the dimensions will vary because the sizes also changes and our uh, spare parts also increases in the size. And as you can see, the measurement is from the top of the metal until on the bottom of the metal piece. Uh, of flat spring so really, really be careful these lines also from where they start the measurement so you will not make any uh, wrong measurements and when you have done everything on the bottom you have placed your uh, bearings you have placed your shaft in the position there is some last uh, measurements the A and B measurement, probably in other purifiers for sure, you will have different measurements, you will have different measurement points. And let's see for SG60, it's 99 plus minus one millimeter. And this is our ball. This is our ball already placed on the shaft we can have also a measurement here. In some cases, uh, you will need to adjust your um, roller so you can properly measure and you must be really, really careful about the o-rings here so it will not change your measurement. So everything will be straight. You must be really, really accurate on that point and if for any reason you find a different dimension, you must uh, think again what you are doing wrong and recheck if everything is proper, the surfaces are fine. Probably uh, somewhere here on the shaft there is some dirty and your um, roller is not placed properly. It's not straight. 
give uh, attention on that. So another quickly point that if you would like to check your uh, shaft when you dismantle your ball and the ball is missing from here, there is only shaft like here, you can check the rotating by hand to check the bearings condition. You can feel a lot, you can feel the vibration from the bearings and also you can understand if your shaft are moving side to side. Another thing that you can do, you can place some uh, micrometer, dial gauge micrometer here and you can turn to see what balance uh, your shaft has. So from there also you can understand a lot of things. The most important is to set properly your dial gauge to be uh, set it on the surfaces which is clean because the dial gauge this micrometer can feel really really small uh, differences between the surface. So some of the measurements that probably you get when you use the dial gauge you will get them wrong because there is some kind of uh, metal that have vanished from here have disappeared uh, as we know from a metal a melting point or metal evaporation so be careful where you place your dial gauge so the surface will be smooth or clean your surface with a emery cloth so you will not get a, a wrong measurement and last on here we can see uh, again our measurement about the flat spring here one thing that I would like to stand is uh, always to check the drawings and compare here these distances and when you insert on the shaft everything all these covers all the bearing cases to verify that everything it sits properly and also when you tight the bearing housing everything on the place on the uh, housing of the purifier verify that everything touches and in place and on the end when you finish all that things with the bearings replacement turn your shaft to see that your shaft is moving freely so always in all the equipment which is shaft related at the end and everything and all the job that you have done uh, is properly try to rotate your shaft and you will verify that your equipment it's turning it's turning smooth without any disturbance normally if you turn it will be uh, really really smooth all the 360 degrees rotation and that is that I would like from you today to remember so my dear friends thank you that you participate here I'm waiting you in the zoom meeting which we will make on 27 April uh, about 8 o'clock uh, we start the meeting uh, for 40 minutes we will be there, we will make our test meeting, so I'm waiting you all there. Thank you again and bye-bye.